a guitar wah-wah pedal. It runs around the wall and goes into that inverter there, which comes out, goes around, goes into a cord, which comes around, and goes into the motor. So you can move the twist lock here from project motor to project motor without having to buy an inverter for every one of them. This thing I had to weld and build the shaft up and then lathe cut it back down to fit that pulley there. And that's a taper sheet pulley that tightens up. This is the motor, the old motor off the uh, iron worker, the old three-phase motor. This thing I had all disassembled. It's got a flat belt that runs up to the drum. It goes across. I'd cut the shaft in two and put a gearbox and motor in it. Now I had to re-weld the shaft and true it back up on the lathe. It still probably got about uh, 60 thousandths out of round there. But uh, that's on its lowest speed setting there. And what I discovered is this thing right here, I never really paid any attention before, is a back gear to give it about another 4 to 1 ratio reduction. When you pull this lever here, it shifts the cogs there, disconnects, the drum free spins on the shaft and feeds through this gear, through that gear to this gear to this gear to that gear. So it gives it about another four to one reduction. I'm planning on putting that synchronous motor, it's a stepper motor, magnetic coils in it, on this right here to drive the down feed. I have a switch for down and a switch for up. That motor, the neat thing about it is it, if you stall it out, it does no harm. It don't overheat or anything. shaft belt, they took more arms and hands off and clothes off of people than probably anything I've ever been around. They'll take a finger off in a heartbeat, they'll twist it right off. Grease fittings. This is Babbitt up here on those bearings. And this here is just a steel shaft running in another steel shaft. It needs a grease dessert fitting. And that's Babbitt down there. They're already drilled for oiler. But anyway, there we are.